just a one, two, three. See, this is the time I like to get up in the morning. <laughs> well, I can say what the hell I want to say. Catch y'all sleeping. Slide that in on you early in the morning. Then you have to catch it on replay. Audience has never been my problem. in this lifetime. Just like to say good morning. Welcome to SPWD Speed, bringing it to you all the way live. And uh, I know you see my tie though. He ain't gonna be able to hide away from it. You see my tie though. been a question in minds for a long time in life and I always wondered when is it the time for more mature people to step to the side and let the younger generation carry that torch I'm serious. When is it that time? Something you think about. Now some people think um, it's never a time for older people to step to the side. And I had to ask you the question. In the game of life, of any sports, when do you ever see that? For Father Time come along, don't take your thinking away, but it takes your ability to move on what you're thinking about. And I know some of you were saying, well, that's different. No, it's not. For some reason or another, we forget when we get elderly. We forget we had a disconnect with our parents. Now, you want to make it believe that when you was coming up, you followed every damn thing your parents said and you never made any mistakes. When I would have to ask you, I would have to ask you, how did all these ass whooping come about then? You did everything your parents asked you to do. And see, that's where the deception and lies come in. If you did everything your parents asked you to do, you wouldn't have got your ass whooped. So stop lying. And that's what uh, old people always try to make you believe. And maybe sometimes I've been guilty of that of myself. But it's all cool and it's all good. Because we're going to work this out. Seriously, we're going to work this out. Somebody goes out to start telling the truth about it. Seriously. Because <laughs> everybody, I think, you might be capping. That's the word y'all 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 love to use. But I believe we got to be honest, people. I I've been on the panel. Old people, young people. 
I was just on one panel where there was a young man, and I ain't gonna, you know, I'm not gonna uh, mention a name, but there was a young man who I felt got disrespected by one of you or, uh, well, how should I say it? One of your brothers who are well known. And I know, I'm in the business. I don't give a damn how well known you is. You don't have the cheat code to, <laughs> to disrespect anybody. I don't care how much knowledge you have. You just don't have that right. And going back into time and... People like Dr. Francis, Welsh, Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark, and Toomey, and Toomey Ray. I guess I'm saying that brother's name right. It's early in the morning, people. A lot of brothers and sisters who came before us, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, They know how to motivate people and teach them at the same time. Seem to be a lost art. Did they fix all the problems? No. But whatever they pointed themselves in that direction, they know how to talk to people to motivate people to get the job done. Sometimes we get to a certain age, it's almost like do it my way or the highway. Well, I don't know what rock you've been sleeping under, but the younger generation <laughs> don't perform at their best when you come at them like that. And believe it or not, I found out about this about two years ago. That you have to have the proper way of communicating to whoever you are dealing with. I don't care how much wisdom you have. If you don't respect the people who's gonna carry out your mission, <laughs> how long do you think you gonna be around? Not too long. And I hear a lot of this out into these YouTube streets. And look, everybody has a way to come up with their own blueprint, their own journey, how they want to do things. But in the end of the day, it's got to make sense. You got to be able to motivate people. You gotta make people see your vision. But if you coming in my way or the highway, do as I say, not as I do, you in the wrong generation, man. That ain't gonna work. Oh yeah, you have a lot of people over the internet give you thumbs up and tell you how real you are and give you all kinds of 100s. <laughs> But when you try to assemble your men's and you go down to the corner, you look behind you, you standing there by your damn self. Cause you don't alienate everybody. And wonder why ain't nobody behind you. Then you gonna get mad. Then start talking about how black people ain't about shit. <laughs> they left you standing there alone. Well, you came up with this shit alone, and you want to do it alone your way. Well, <laughs> go out there and face the enemy by your damn self. If you don't want your soldiers to have no input, well, but I still have a number two question. It's like. 
What have anybody out here now who's living, what have they came up with new and they trying to try it and it haven't been tried and done before? Now, I want somebody to answer that question, honestly. And I can tell you, there's nothing under the sun. There's been people smarter than you, have better communication skills than you, know how to command troops better than you, have did what you're trying to do. And it's still come up short. So something is missing. You take Marcus Garvey. Had over 7 million members. The biggest organization that has ever been put together in the United States when it comes to black people. And his ships right now is right there in the Hudson River. Sunk. So, all this tough love and all this you're going to do and all this big talk, man, you got to be able to motivate people, bro. Sometimes you got to be able to push yourself to the side and, and just figure out old war tactics don't work. It just don't. New generation have a totally different way the way they look at things. <laughs> and if you think all old ways is the best way, I like to see your ass ride up on a meeting on a damn Clydesdale horse or only. You shouldn't even want to jump in no car. But you ain't gonna do that. Because you do know there's some advantage in evolution. You just don't be believe in that advantage in evolution in your way of thinking. So this is going out for all the old or mature, I would say the 55 and plus gang out there who just think you can talk. I would say the 50 to 50 and up gang think you can just talk to anybody any kind of way. You gonna mess around and get your ass whooped. See, I keep seeing people talking about, you know, this is YouTube. Just, just because it's YouTube, don't mean you can't get your ass whooped. Because think about what happened before YouTube. There was telephone, just regular telephone, dial, text tone, dial with your finger with the zeros in it, with the with the keypad that you had to dial by, dial by putting your finger in it. There's a lot of people got their ass kicked with them, that kind of communication. A lot of people got killed too. So I hope that you will come to your senses. Us elderly people who are out here and trying to motivate our people to be better, do better. That you don't come in with this hard lining. It's got to be my way or the highway. Because if you do, you didn't, you're not going to have what you need to win this war. People are suffering out here. We have a banana pill from being in World War Three.
and some of us trying to be a community dictator. Not even knowing what's going on in the world. I've been so focused on what's going on in Europe with the Russians. I've been listening to all kind of media and different sorts of media, not just the United States, because I'm going to just be honest, they lying to us. We went to Iraq because Solomon Hussein was supposed to have weapons of mass destruction, biology, um, what they call it, um, chemical warfare. I just put it that way, it's more easy for me to say. Here we is, find ourselves in the mix of having the same thing in another country. That's going to be a hard question to answer. That's going to be a real hard question to answer. You know, they always say, you get a man in the corner, sooner or later, well they used to say a cat, but I just say a man. Sooner or later, he, 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 he gonna come out of that corner and fight. I think we should be more in tune in what's going on. And I know, yeah, you know, black people wanna say that's white people business. Let me tell you something, man. It may be, in general, it might be white people business. But did you see the news reports of all them African brothers and sisters being beat down and stuff? They're not allowed to leave the country when everybody who don't have their complexion of skin, melanated skin, was able to go through the gates and they were pulled to the side. Now y'all keep on acting like, especially in these streets, keep on acting like <laughs> racism don't affect you. It don't affect you as long as you don't say a damn thing, you're right. As long as you one of them brothers or sisters who hold your head down and accept anything that comes across the table. No, it's not going to never affect you. Only you are affecting you. You being less than you could be. Because you scared to bite the hand to feed you. And not knowing that the same person who feeds you, you can feed yourself. Take a little work. But are you willing to do that work? See, that's why racism don't affect you. Because you don't say nothing. If it ain't in your house, it don't exist. You fooling your damn self. You better be paying attention about this war. Because I'm telling you. We over there are trying to interfere with somebody's sovereignty, sovereign country. We're trying to bring something too close to their doorstep. It don't happen here before. You all don't remember our history lesson and when Russia wanted to bring some missiles and put in Cuba. <laughs> you better go ahead and do your history. This is why I say, y'all the ones who keep talking about we gotta get out the past, you better take your ass back in the past to see what's going on. Y'all don't push this man in the corner. Well, he has to have sovereignty of his own and protect his own country. 
And now they don't found Did you got laboratories over there close to this country? What was you gonna do with that stuff? Y'all not paying attention to this. See, y'all be looking at this. Y'all be looking at this Western news. This is controlled by the elites. I wouldn't even say the government. Because I think this shit is way beyond the government. That's what I'm talking about the elites. The money makers. The booty shakers. The one to make you tap dance. If you don't ever see racism. Or any kind of ism. You don't believe it, but you know, pretty much don't lost your rabbit ass mind. I don't have to bring up the killings or anything. Hell, they've been doing that to us ever since we've been here. That ain't nothing new. But you better take your ass on over there to uh, RTV. It's called Russia Today. English and get the real story well at least get the story that they're not reporting to you and then you put the puzzle together for yourself you know how brother OG do it you know, I'm, a, I'm a rebel been like that all my life I ain't gonna believe pretty too much of anything you just tell me I have to put it under the microscope and see, do it past the shit test. Y'all listening to CNN, Fox, and all these other channels, M, S, B, C, uh, I don't know. I don't listen to that crap no more. In the same news station, used to have us with our head down all the time, talking about food stamps and everything wrong in this country they always show one of us so why I'm going to take the time to listen to any damn thing they don't lie to us so many times and lie about us so many times I'm trying to figure out why in the hell we even listening to that stuff now I don't know if you uh, remember when Trump was running for president And he brung up to how many crooked people was in Washington, D.C. He even talked about Biden and his son in this same country that we're dealing with right now. It's been a cesspool for Europeans in the West to go over in that country and make nothing but money. But the sad part about that, or the sad part about this, I don't hear nobody talking about it. And y'all down and hard on fresh and fit, and which some cases you should be. But that's the only thing close in the manosphere I heard. They dedicated a two hour and 30 minute show on somebody who had their foots on the ground over there. Try to give you some insight. So that's why I just say, you know, regardless of what you might dislike by the person, there's a lesson to be learned in there. Regardless of what you might like about the hell out of dislike about their show but they took them they time what what they do and you know what they do they get a bunch of low fruit women on there who look decent and they let their women expose themselves that's all they do but they did take the time and do this political thing I think it was done on the 4th of this month you go back and look at that very interesting I 
I think more than anything that black people today, for some reason or another, we scared of truth. Let me ask you a question. And this goes out to every black male and female that live in North America. If they haven't showed you any to this point that they're willing to protect you, why do you believe they're willing to protect you? You've seen all the major events that don't happen in this country over the last 25 years. And every time there was any blacks in the situation, <laughs> we were the last one to be protected. You can't deny that. Now, you can say what you want to say to about me. Now, you mathematical brother, that's some facts for your ass. Ask the people for the Katrina. Ask some of them people what was really going on. Y'all don't get it. A dog in a war is the same. Listen to what I just said. A dog and a wolf is the same. They come from the same family. But a dog won't trust a wolf. Even though he's domesticated, he won't trust a wolf. Because he know that, that wolf will eat him and his babies. Now my channel been taken down on the 27th, never said anything about it. You know what it was taken down for? A brother of Mark of Anaheim. He analyzed a lot of stuff. He was in the Marines. Very high ranking brother in the Marines. High ranking in the LAPD, out here in California. He's seen a lot of things. Dick Gregory used to work very close with him. He said some things on one of my podcasts and they took my channel down. And that just shows you <laughs> there are so groups of people on this planet can tell all the lies they want to and they never take each other down. I'm going to ask you the question. I'm no fan of people color. I'm a fan of uh, what's in their heart. No, I don't really get out there and chill eat for nobody. Got my own blueprint. But I want you to go back and see what the unemployment was when Donald Trump was in the office for the black male and the black woman. And I want you to go back. We're going to give this a real test. Go back and see what the unemployment was when Obama was in office. Then come back and put in my comment section what you found out.
I want you to go back and I'm just strictly talking about I'm not a fan of no party Democrat or Republican I think neither one of them is the answer to our problems I think both of them <laughs> is our problem but I want you to go back and uh And look out, look at how many unfair laws did that Obama turned over when he was in President D.C. to help minorities. I don't have to say that, but. I just, learned, I just love to use the term black. Was able to get out of prison because wopsided sentence in the court system. Then I want you to go back and see how much bite back, bite, bite, backing, back, biting was going on. when Donald Trump was in office, when he signed a bill to get people or his administration set the course for them to take a closer look at how, how people of color was sentenced in the courtroom and how the sentence was compared to white people just have to tell the truth and he was able to uh, to help us a little bit see I'm not uh, I'm not fond of telling people telling me who I can like and who I can't like I look at a person policy. Now y'all gonna talk about if he's well spoken, he got good hair, bad hair, or whatever. Or he's a racist. And that's why you don't like him. Well you shouldn't like any damn president we ever had. Cause all of them was racist. To you. And that was including Obama. We never had one who wasn't racist. Good, one, good morning, I see We never had a president in that office, black or white, who wasn't racist. Sorry. And they even go all back to Kennedy. Kennedy didn't do no more than anybody else would have did if they had been in the office because black people was on code. They know exactly what they wanted. And they went for it. So I don't care who was in the office, they will go out to submit to that. Because at that time, black people was tired. So, start watching people who tell you who to like, and then put them on the microscope and see how much have, have they did so for someone who looks like you. Especially in this country, we gotta stop judging skin color and judge a person, policies, intent, and what they really do for you. I remember when I used to be gullible like that. I can give you one event. When I was coming up, a lot of people hated 
Muhammad Ali. Believe it or not, as much as he spoke for black people, a lot of people hated him. But, and I'm talking about right in my family. I'm not talking about outside my family. My aunt was one who I loved very much. She said he had a big mouth. And she said it and he talked about him so bad she made me dislike. I remember when he fought Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier was running around carrying the flag. Muhammad Ali was speaking for black people all over the world. So did they judge that man on his heart? Or did they judge him because he was outspoken? He wasn't like the average Negro who's at the cookout or at the barbershop who can talk all that mess, but as soon as the camera get in front of him, he go back to, yes sir, boss. Don't let nobody tell you who to hate. Do your own research. Do I think Donald Trump a racist? He might have a potential to be one. I don't know. He ain't never told me that. Do I think he's biased? Hell yeah. Which you should be yourself. That falls under the category of self-preservation. Everybody supposed to love their own. That don't mean you have to hate nobody else, but it, it does mean you, got, you should love your own. It's kind of hard for us to love our own when we don't even love ourselves. Seriously. That's what all the fight is about. That's why I call it breaking news. Black family is at war. Everything from hair to relationship. High value man, low value man, pookie ray ray, the N word, the B word. We're a group of people in a prison. <laughs> and not even knowing the guards and the warden is the problem. But we turn on each other. Because we feel powerless. We ain't ready to take the fight where it should be at. So we really ever kill each other. I had to ask myself, when would that stop? We still in America. We 14 days going and 15 days in the war. And we sitting around talking about when we go get our dick wet. Or why we can't have sex with the woman we want because we think she belongs to the street. If she was to drop her clothes, we'll drop our clothes in the street with her. Because the strip club went from the strip club to the street and to the house. When I used to work in strip clubs back in the 80s, one of the things I regret, when you live long enough, you will learn to regret some things you do in your life. There is no difference when I worked in this strip club. It, uh, what you're seeing now in the street. Award shows. I mean, 
we're just so ridiculous the way we dress seriously that's another question I guess that would be number three what have we become We don't have to worry about if they gonna ever clone. Another person to be another person. We are the real clones. Our attitude, the way we do things, the way we move. Seriously right now we are in the in image of our oppressors and a lot of you won't agree along with that and I'll tell you go kick rocks and ask you what your last name is hmm you didn't expect that did you We haven't even fought to get our name changed because we we so stuck up. Well, that's what my mama's name was. That's what my granddaddy was named. Well, what the hell you think he got his? Right? <laughs> I got a Chinese guy in my house. Well, he's not longer here, but his name was Bob. What's going on, Shelley? How you doing? His name is Bob. And uh, <laughs> it's strange calling him Bob. Because I know no way in his damn history was anybody named in the country he came from was named Bob. But he did it just for the paper. We got some serious work to do. And I don't think more, uh, much of, you know, not too many of us is up for the task. Not for the real task. We talk all that shit. We've been talking this shit for over two, three hundred years. Until you get back what was taken from you, you'll never be whole. I ask you a question. How can you be, have a slave name and not be a slave? I'm sorry. That's just naked truth. Ask yourself that question. How can you not be a slave and you still got a slave name? You don't never want to answer that question, do you? You know how proud I am when I hear them brothers with them unique African names playing football, basketball, entertainment. I just love hearing them lane like Malik and Raheem. I love hearing them kind of names. You gonna say, well, what about your name, J Speed? That lets me know you ain't ever really ever listened to me. That's my f professional name. My name is Askil Muhammad. Well, do you go with one of them Arab names? Muhammad ain't no Arab name. I'm sorry. That's an African name come from the continent so get it straight I'm going to be honest with you content creators 
This ain't the time to be talking about relationships. At least not the time to be talking about relationships when a man and a woman. This is the time you should be thinking about what the hell is going on in this world. Why is this country trying to hide what they were doing in another country that they invaded another country about 20 something years ago and killed the president of the country? for the same thing we've been accused of now. If you don't know something, you better ask somebody. So I'm telling all y'all to go on YouTube and stop dealing with all the fuckery and start listening to RT Today. Russia Today. It's not in Russia, it just newscasters, English speaking newscasters who report on the events happening in Europe. Don't let nobody fool y'all just like somebody telling y'all who to like. The Russians got a, what they call a maneuver called the Condren or something like that, where they surround people. They got something like 47,000 soldiers that, that they have absolutely surround now. Either them soldiers go give up or they go die where they, they stand. Y'all think <laughs> Russia was able to do in a short period of time what the United States was not able to do in Iraq. But y'all listening to this goddamn news <laughs> and making y'all thinking about that they losing the war. Think about this. If you got a hundred people surrounded by 2,000 police and they're asking you to drop your weapons or die where you stand what you think will happen that's what's going on in Ukraine right now they're having y'all thinking about them people trying to march down to the capital and take over no they're trying to get rid of the soldiers first then the fight is over you just ain't gonna be able to give us about a gun tomorrow and they gonna be turn, turn, turn into a soldier. Come on now, we see what that kind of shooting gets you at. Why don't you put your black thinking cap, think cap on and figure this shit out for yourself. But you can't be listening to CNN, NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox News. You gotta go outside and listen to some independent news, not one, and figure this stuff out. Because as far as all Oven said, we in California, we're probably gonna be paying seven or eight dollars for a gallon of gas. The East Coast, welcome to a high price of gas. What y'all paying right now is what we always been paying for the hell the last 10 years. <laughs> So, welcome to the world of Petro. I'm going to make this video about an hour. Most of you probably ask for JSP, why you don't have no people come on your channel at pound? Well, that ain't the way I roll on this side of the street. You get a bunch of people on the panel and then the damn conversation can go all kinds of ways. I'm going to say what I need to say. If you don't like it, then you know you got plenty of other choices out there. Because I know some of you don't like nothing but war between us or some woman on the stage or I mean, naked we don't find a video. And we want to talk about that shit all day long. 
Ja, og tjekke med. <laughs> Jeg har på så meget værd, jo, en pusse. Nu svær I det over. Give me that water, you wouldn't talk about it all day long. <laughs> you think I don't want to make love to a woman? I damn sure want to make love to a woman. And I be getting mine in. So I mean, it's no use for me going and talk about some shit. It ain't happening to me. If you ain't getting none, then... Maybe you ain't ready. But I don't see no use of getting up every morning and talking about it. What you getting or what you not getting. That's supposed to be inside your bedroom. When is it one? God damn. I know the strip club came out of to the street and to the home. But I'm trying to figure out why y'all so open about what y'all do in your bedroom. I remember coming up, guys didn't talk like that. About the most a guy would ever ask a guy about a woman, he have not say, how good is it good? Then it might be a fight started, and then it might just be, you damn right it's good. Now I'm finishing the conversation. We can go on and on about, you know, how many body counts she had, and did she give me a disease? Well, maybe, we, come on now. Where's these conversations coming from? Well, you know, the relationship ain't like when you was coming up. I know damn well it ain't like when I'm coming up. Most of them damn women's old and don't put their stuff on the shelf. I'm a man. I ain't putting mine on the shelf till they got damn I take my last breath. Did that rhyme? Hmm. I'm getting like Sarism now. See, that's why I don't have people over here swinging with me. I just put mines in the air and they get around sooner or later. Some people take clips off of it. Some people get ideas and they make it bigger. Michael, Jack- Michael Jackson wasn't the person who invented the moonwalk. He just made it famous. I don't give a damn. If they take my stuff and make it famous, more famous than I am, man, they have school with me. That means some people getting smart. So, I got five minutes left. Because I say I'm going to stop making videos more than an hour. The first question was, do old people have the right to try to lead the younger generation and self-determination. I guess my second question was why we choose to let people lie to us and tell us who we should like without looking at their policy. I have already told you everybody in the White House, for every president in the White House been racist. At its least biased towards self, self, self preservation. People who look like him. Now we had one didn't know what that means. And that was the one who looked like us, who really didn't want to have anything to do with us other than telling us what we wasn't doing right. That's my assessment of that presidency. And I guess the third if I ain't always mentioned it, you know, old oh, shit be running through my head. 95, excuse me, 95 miles per hour. 
is why was we still, why are we still talking about relationship and we're banana peel away from a fucking third world war. Now, I would have know some of you people would have a lot of these ex military men and people who think they smart. We say there was they, there's no way that there would ever be a nuclear war. And I will tell you to think about something. You ever see a conversation starts off and get aggressive? you thinking and I'm talking about family I ain't talking about people you don't know I'm talking about just family members and you think they just you know just go argue or you don't think they really go hate each other and they end up to be a fight well that's the way you have to look at a war could turn into Somebody use a nuclear weapon. It escalate a lot faster than you think. I got one minute left. It's been a groove. But I got to move because the clock on the wall, so that's all. But just think about some of the things that I said, and I guarantee you won't hear none of this on any other channel. So J Speed ain't like no one, no one else. J Speed is the one and only. But please go back and look at Russia Today TV, so you start getting a grip of what's really going on. Now I hope. Each one of you may listen to this, you and your family is doing well. And last but not least, peace, love, and always strive for the truth.